Here we go. This is a comedy. Here we go. And action. All right, let's just call up your file and see what the problem is, Mr. Chips. It's crisp. <laughs> Ted Crisp. No, it says Chips. Ted Chips. I know, but that's not my name. Don't take this wrong, but are you sure? Because you wouldn't be the first person to come in here mistaken about their name. No, I. It, it's the one thing me and my father agree on. It is very unlikely the system would make a mistake like that. I know my name. Okay, let's see if this helps. Nope, that did not help at all. So for some reason, the system just deleted you. What? How'd that happen? I don't know. I've never seen that before. There's no record of you anywhere. You know, I've been having problems with this computer all morning. The L key's just sticking, too. Yeah, the L key. That's definitely where we need to start. And God knows how many L's there is in Ted Crisp. None. There's none. So now what? Yeah. Now let's go again from the top. Just talk loud enough for her to hear. Loud enough? Don't talk that loud. Just talk loud enough for her to hear. Got you. Okay, don't project to the back. Got you. All right? Got you. Number two, you're in your head a little bit on the lines. You understand what I mean by that? Okay. Do you or don't you? I, I yeah. Okay. Yes. Is that true or not? Uh, when she's talking, are you thinking of your next line? No. What are you thinking? I did once. Okay. <laughs> I'm, thinking of, I'm thinking about getting fired from my job. Like, like okay. I have a deadline. Why did you come to see her in the first place? Because I need to get some work done and I don't have a lot of time. I mean, I can't get into the system. I, 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 I have you are having a bad situation at work. Yeah. Now, you can't get into the system, which means you don't have a fucking job. Right. And you don't know what the fuck to do. Right. So your moment before needs to be more specific because you look like at the beginning, you're very happy about everything. And if you're happy about everything, you wouldn't be here in the first place. That's true. Okay? Yeah. I mean, trying to figure, you know, anyone ever go to HR and say, wow, I can't wait to go to HR? Because I'm going to fucking go <laughs> Nobody fucking wants to go to HR. Okay? I'm not talking about you, Matt. I mean, Mike, but normal people don't want to go there. Why do you like it so much? I like folks there. Okay. All right. You understand? Yeah. You've been dealing with this shit, corporate bullshit. And you've had enough of it. Okay. Okay? You ever deal with the bureaucrats? You ever go to the DMV? Mm-hmm. That's what this is like. <laughs> Got it? Gotcha. Here we go. Gotcha. All right, let's just call up your file and see what the problem is, Mr. Chips. It's Chris. Ted Chris. No, it says Chips. Ted Chips. I know, but that's not my name. Don't take this wrong, but... Are you sure? Because you wouldn't be the first person to come in here mistaken about their name. I know my name. It's the one thing me and my father can agree on. It is very unlikely the system would make a mistake like that. I know my name. Let's just see if this helps. Nope, that did not help at all. For some reason, the system just deleted you. W what? How'd that happen? I don't know. I've never seen that before. There's no record of you anywhere. You know, I've been having problems with this computer all morning. The L key is just sticking too. Yeah, the L key. Let's uh, let's definitely start there, cause God knows how many L's there is in Ted Crisp. None. There's none. So now what? Now I report it to IT, and you can get yourself a better attitude. What are you thinking there when she says that? I hate this job. Is that what you were thinking? Yeah. Okay. You worked on the next scene also? Mm -hmm. Good, go to the next scene. I can't take it anymore, Janet. First the first the lab, now the office. I'm running out of places I can go. I work here, Janet. I exist. Can you see me? I know you exist. Do it Mr. again, bring the volume down. Alright. I can't take it anymore, Janet. First the lab, then the office. I work here. It says lab? Yeah. Okay. Now improv it. Okay. I can't take it anymore. No, improv it. Oh. Say what you want to say. All right. Why, why am I still here? Why am I still doing this? Why, why, why do I always have to come to HR every day? It's ridiculous. 
We get this problem every day. Good. Now, when you watch the tape, you notice when you're in problem, your focus is really on her. Mm. And you're more relaxed and you're connecting with her. Okay. Do you feel the difference or it feels the same to you? No, it feels different. Yeah. Okay, now improv the first scene. Both of you guys improv the first scene. Are you good to improv it? Yeah. Or you want me to do it? That's okay. Okay. <laughs> improv it. All right. Improv. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Chips, let me just pull up your file here. Good, let me improv it with you. Have we met before? Yeah, yesterday and the day before. Um, I don't think so. I would remember you. I'm Ted Crisp. Come on, we've had this discussion yesterday. Ted Crisp? Yeah, you're Janet. How did you know my name? Oh my God, I come here every day. Why are we still doing this? You say I'm not in the system, but I obviously I work here. I see a lot of people every day. I don't really like your attitude. Do you, do you forget easily? I mean, come on. Well, obviously, you didn't make an impression on me. Why aren't you doing your job? Why do you hang around here? I can't here? do my Why job. Why do you hang around here? Because, because I need to get into job. the system. Why don't you put me into the system? Well, maybe the system doesn't want you. Did well, you ever think that? So do I work here or do I not? That's not my responsibility. It is your responsibility. That's not my Are you not HR? Yes, I'm HR, but I don't hire people. You should be in the system. Why are you in the system? I really resent your attitude. I don't care. Put me back into the system. This isn't about you or me. This is about me in the system. Have you got some identification? Yeah. Have you taken the urine drug test yet? Yes. Okay, did you pass? Yes. Would you be willing to take a lie detector test? Why do I need to do all of this just to get back into the system? Because the, the computer says that you're a person of someone we should be watching. Oh. Oh, let me see. Excuse me? Let me see. No, I can't show No, let me see the computer. I can't show Give you. me the computer. I can't. Excuse me? Look, can we just put me back you into the system? In HR. I, you don't work in I HR. should work in HR. Do you know how bad you are at your job? It's ridiculous. You're supposed to be HR. I'm supposed to come to you for help. Every time I come to you, it's the worst problem. Start the scene. First scene. All right, let's just call up your file and see what the problem is, Mr. Chips. It's crisp. Ted Crisp. No, it says Chips. Ted Chips. I know, but that's not my name. Don't take this wrong, but are you sure? Because you wouldn't be the first person to come in here mistaken by a father name. I know my name. It's the one thing me and my father can agree on. It's very unlikely the system would make a mistake like that. I know my name. Let's just see if this helps. Nope, that didn't help at all. For some reason, the system just deleted you. What? How'd that happen? I don't know. I've never seen that before. Like, there's no record of you anywhere. You know, I've been having problems with this computer all morning. The L key is sticking to it. Yeah, the L key. Uh, we should definitely start there. Because God knows how many L's there is in Ted Crisp. None. So now what? Now I report you to IT and you go get yourself a better attitude. Good. That was much better. You see how much improv helps? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. To which would be no difference. And when I irritated you enough, I forced you to focus on me and deal with my bullshit and really be affected by me. So I wasn't just the other actor. I was the person who was a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Okay. No offense, Doug. Okay. Take the second scene. I can't take it anymore, Janet. I can't take it anymore, Janet. First the lab, now the office. Close your eyes. My life is a fucking nightmare. Every day I come down to work and people act like they don't know who the fuck I am. I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone episode. Maybe I shouldn't work. Maybe I should just move to another town or something. But I swear to God, if I have to go to HR one more day in a row, I'm going to just quit. Quit, but how can I fucking quit? Maybe I'm not even going to work here. Maybe I don't even exist. Who the fuck am I? Start the scene. I can't take it anymore, Janet. First the lab, now the office. I'm running out of places to go. I work here, Janet. I exist. You see me, right? I know you exist, Mr. Chips. The computer is the only one you have to convince. I exist! Why don't you believe me? So, who do you think is going to win the war? 
man or machine. So there has to be a thought that takes you to that, so who do you think is going to win the world war? Right. Otherwise, I don't know why the fuck you say it. You understand? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Do that speech again. Start from the top? No. I know you exist. I know you exist, Mr. Chips. The computer is the one you have to convince. I exist. Why don't you believe me? So, who do you think is going to win the war? Man or machine? I can't speak for the machine, but I'm sure they don't appreciate your sarcasm. Why can't you just re-enter me into the system? Uh, you do it for new hires all the time. Do you have a 457 code? Yeah, I have three of them. Only people with a 457 code can be entered into the system, and only new hires get 457 codes. Fine. Uh, what if I just reapplied for my job? Then I could have the 9, 10, 11 codes, right? Look, I know it sounds crazy, but I have something to do. I can't just wait for some IT guy. Actually, it makes sense. I wouldn't say it's tricking the system, it's just helping it to see the world differently. Here's an application. Oh, thank you. Uh, me and the computer will be very happy. It'll be like living in a perfectly coded world one day. Good. Now, you have a wonderful, booming voice. But for most of this stuff, you don't need it. Okay. You understand? So the more you just brought it down, the better it plays. Okay. For this material. Otherwise, you're projecting to an audience that doesn't exist. Okay. The audience is only two inches from your face. Got gotcha. you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Questions? Uh, one going from talking to the computer back to her, what is that thought? Okay, so it's like, I exist! I exist! I give up. Maybe, is it, you think we're going to win the war? My thought would be I give up. Because like, I was just having an argument with her, but it seems like now I'm like... Yeah. Well, because you more. realize, here I am yelling at a fucking computer. So my thought could also be, did I just yell? Is there a war going on here? That, who's going to win? You understand? So there has to be an organic thought that happens from there to there. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Very good. Thank you.